I can remember seeing, when I was a kid, seeing in a magazine drawings that an artist did in court and thinking, I just can't imagine doing anything as important as that. I've made these notations in court that then I can define more. When I got out of school, I thought I would be a fine artist, but I needed some way to earn money, and so I started doing fashion illustration. And I had been doing that for about three, four years when this happened. I wasn't a television watcher. I didn't know about artists drawing in a courtroom. The idea of drawing from life happening at the same time in court. You know, a lot of the times I'm in court, court is over, can be over in four minutes in an arraignment, three minutes. It can be a matter of seconds that you see the defendant walk in, turn and face the judge. You know, your eyes have to be alert and glued every second. What oh, this not? is uh, brown because white is a difficult color to, for the camera and also because the courtroom is brown and also because it's a, it's a color and I can have more color. Well, I started it and a lot of artists copied me. This is Jack Henry Abbott. Norman Mailer. Uh -huh. was instrumental in freeing him from prison because he was a, a writer and he thought he was a great literary genius who shouldn't be in prison. And the day he was out, he murdered somebody. This is one of the early uh -huh. cases I did, of David Berkowitz, Son of Sam, and it's a day he was hearing demons speaking to him and he came into the courtroom and he was handcuffed and suddenly he started screaming all the court officers rushed over to subdue him and the whole scene was over in about 10 seconds Boy. when I'm out of the courtroom I'm still obsessed with these cases and I feel I have to paint them and paint them in a way without the restrictions of when I was in the court I had to be more objective and here I can just listen to my brain and react passionately about what affected me the most. But these cases live with me all the time. I go in on commission, you know, but not as much. And sometimes my heart beats like I hear Chapo is going to be in court and I think, oh my gosh, it's a big case. Should I? <laughs> but then the painting takes over nowadays. It's the last place that artists really record history. And, and in the end, that's what we have that preserves history, is all the art that's made through all the ages. You know, it's the art that we look at to, to know what happened in ages before us.